Welcome to Jake's Happy Nostalgia Show, a podcast where nostalgia comes alive. Together, Jake and his friends interview talents varying from actors, directors, writers, producers, composers, puppeteers, and so much more. Who will they be chatting with today? Find out in this Jake's Happy Nostalgia Show episode. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Jake's Happy Nostalgia Show, where nostalgia comes alive. I am one of your co-hosts, Chris Bixby, and with me today is our co-host, Matthew Johnson, Wyatt McCullough, Matt Bingle, his pal Julius, and of course, the host, Jake Duffenbaugh. How are you guys? Amazing. Hi. Doing great. great. We're good. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Yes, v- very good. Very good. Mm-hmm. And very excited about today's guest. Me and Matthew, I'd say, are the most, because yeah. as kids, we grew up watching Disney Channel um from the shows to the movies and today we got someone who worked on a bunch of things for disney Mm -hmm. channel and some things for nickelodeon as well he is a director and producer and he's paul hoen paul how are you i am fantastic how are you guys i'm you're great doing good Good. Good. you're great so to kind of start this off we of course know who you are but for those who don't would you care to introduce yourself um i'm paul hoen i'm a director producer i've been working in kids television since like 1987 i think oh wow wow yeah Ooh. and um that was you know at first it was just a little bit of a uh jobs for after college and then it turned into a big huge career yeah, yeah. nice Which awesome i'm happy about yes That's awesome. yes and you definitely have a lengthy uh career with disney channel of course as i yes. mentioned earlier you've done a lot of work on the movies and a couple of the yeah, shows as well. Yeah, some I grew up with as well. Yes, definitely. So, so Matthew, why don't you ask the next question? So, what what got you into directing and producing? Well, I was, um, I, you know, when I was a kid, I was really into, I saw like a musical, uh, yeah. Two Gentlemen of Verona, and I just thought, holy shit excuse me if i can say that no go ahead (laughs) i was like this is exactly like what i want to do and so i i uh i went to college and i thought i was going to be in uh you know a theater major i studied production design and then i um i you know my mother who was very um uh, drummed in well how are you going to be able to get a job and you know and i thought well maybe Um, this is not the best thing for me to do to be somewhat practical. So I switched to, um, uh, friends of mine were in variety television at the time when I graduated and I just became a runner and I, I made sandwiches and then I kind of just worked my way up the ladder until I was associate director. And then, um, from that point, um, the, actually it was a Disney channel show called, um, Videopolis Star Trek, which was like interviews with, mm. huh. you know, no, 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 no. and it, yeah, and it played. There was a dance club they had at Disneyland, and sort of it kind of played with oh, that. Wow. Oh wow! Never knew so that. Um, I did that. I interviewed Brian Robbins. I got in the DGA, and then I um, I directed Kids Incorporated, which was a uh, oh, you heard of that? Yeah, very hmm. you know, very old, time, very old show, and I did that which had music in it. And I was particularly good at music. And then, um, then Disney started doing these, they wanted to build a library of these Disney channel movies. And and since it's kind of complicated to, um, to work with kids sometimes with hours and stuff like that, I uh, ended up, you know, they brought, we need to bring some guy in or somebody in that knows how to do this. And, I did Luck of the Irish, and I think yes. it's yeah, movie, yeah. movies later, here I am. Yeah, there you go. That's <laughs> amazing. Yeah. Yes. So, um, like, who who inspired you to get into directing? You know, I don't know that I was actually inspired by, a, um, like, and you know, a, uh, hold on, let me just silence my little dings it's here. That's fine. Um, That's fine. No worries you know um by you know a one single individual i mean i love filmmakers i love martin scorsese i love sunni lamet yeah you know i mean i love those things but what i loved you know i just thought this whole power of 
being able to tell a story on film and having all that that comes with it, like the emotion you can bring and the fun and the laughter and the sort of the, the teaching aspect of it was really something I was a kind of a Jesuit educated guy who's looking for social justice. And I thought like, this is it not to mention it was just fun. Right. So I, you know, mm-hmm. that's awesome. Yeah. Right. So Jake, why don't you ask the next? Uh, yeah. Um, how did you guys start working for Disney channel? Well, it was just a job, you know, they, they, the thing with kids programming, especially in a lot of these shows there, it's, it's it doesn't pay a lot of money at the very beginning, you know, so yeah. they're always looking for like young people to, mm. to, you know, get into it. And they're looking for new and upcoming talent. And at one point in my life, I was a new and upcoming talent. And so, yeah, <laughs> yeah. and so, you know, uh, let's, let's give this guy Paul Hohen a shot. And, you know, mm-hmm. and I, I basically said I could do it faster and better and you'd get a better product and I, I can do it faster than, you know, some of the other people that you're using. And, um, they just thought they said, okay, we'll give, let's give this guy a chance. Yeah. And it was successful. Yeah. And then when I did luck of the Irish, you know, that was at, at the time it was kind of, it had, it did huge numbers and they started to realize the potential of what this, you know, I mean, it was the high school musical of its time. Before, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 High school music- before high school musical oh, was, the was a thing. thing. Yeah. Yeah, it was. It was still mm-hmm. is with the series going on. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So with all the DCOMs that you've directed, do you have a favorite? Um, well, I love, I love like, um, gosh, I don't know. There's, it's like t- telling your children, like, which one is your yeah. favorite. Yeah. But I yeah. mean, I, I love Luck of the Irish. I yeah. love Let It Shine. I think. Mm. Um, yeah. Yeah. That was very good. Um, movie. A great movie and a good experience. I love Jump In. Jump um, In. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. You know, I yes. Think I love Jump so Every, you know, every movie that I do, there's yes. something to love about it. There's some, Something to hate about it. Too, yeah. But. <laughs> and even um, yeah. Eddie's Million Dollar Cook-Off, which is amazing. Oh, Eddie's Million Dollar Cook-Off. Yeah, that's another really good one. Oh, yeah, that was a great one. That was one that... And also, that this was, one, Camp Rock 2. Yeah. Yeah, oh. Camp Rock. That was great. Camp Rock. I, uh, I love that, that one. one. That was super fun to work with. I love Demi and, and yeah. the Dennis Brother. Mm-hmm. Uh, and yeah. then, of course, the Zombies movies. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. yes. Yeah, so well, I came on that first movie. Just it was another director at first, and then I sort of came in. Oh and wow! There were some hmm. issues, and so I um, fortunately came in, and it was a, you know, I, I love that cast, and yeah. it is turned into a great awesome. It is yeah. for sure. Yes, Zom- Zombies is really good. Um, yes. So, who were some of? I guess because you talked about uh, the cast yeah. or some of the people, so. Who are some of your favorite uh, Disney Channel stars to work with? Yeah. Um, well, I, I let's see. I loved Brian Merriman at the very beginning. I love working with Corbin. He's been yeah. fantastic. The Jonas Brothers and Demi. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. You know, there's, I know everybody was, at the time Demi was going through stuff, but I mm. thought she was tremendously talented and, mm. uh, you know, a great person. And, um, she was a little bit angst ridden, and I'm kind of am yeah. that way too. So, <laughs> you work with, the Jones with people twice. who are complicated. Uh-huh. You worked with the Jones Brothers twice on Camp Rock, and then you directed yeah. also a couple episodes of Jonas, two of my right. favorite episodes with right. the whole movies yeah. episode and the, the, the pizza, pizza girl, girl yeah. episode, which is hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh, I love yeah, that. Yeah, I did that whole second season, yeah. which, which we had super fun. We had a lot yeah. of fun on that one. I, too. And you mm. also directed Andy Mac, which is a good show. Oh, yes. Oh yeah, and, and Peyton, I, who I'm still friends with today. Nice. And uh, by the way, I love Milo and Meg. Meg is yes. Like, is yes. one of my They're all-time amazing. favorites. Oh amazing. yes, <laughs> there's so many of them. Are, there's so many you can't pick so, one. Did, yeah. did you also direct a couple of episodes of Stuck in the Middle? And Jen Ortega is amazing, also. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They're all. Yeah, they're yeah. all amazing. They're all amazing. Uh, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I feel proud about that that i get to they, and they all um you know have turned just into amazing um just amazing actors 
you know, um, it's interesting to see them like Shia, for example, who yeah. Was, oh, yeah. Like, yes. was yes. like such a little kid when I worked with him on even Stevens and, you know, mm -hmm. it was like, here's yeah. how you hit your mark. And, and, you know, we did that movie together, True Confessions, yeah. which was, I mean, it's a, it was a total different type of Disney Channel movie that they, they mm -hmm. were trying and it didn't, yeah. Yeah. but he was, he put in an, an amazing performance in that movie and yeah. it, you know, which was not easy to do. Yeah. yeah and, but, um, I, I got to bring this up. Sprinter Breslin, you wish as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he Spencer was, was, guest. was so funny. Mm -hmm. he, he's going to be like, we've, we, we've had him play for a while. We're gonna yeah, we're going to get him on the podcast soon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's yeah, grown up into a pretty uh, fantastic guy. I talked to him, I think, online at some point when I was on Facebook. Nice. And, and yeah. So you speak about True Confessions. So, what was it like directing True Confessions and Let It Shine that had such a deep story and were such different decoms? Yeah. Yeah, well, I think the trick there was to figure out exactly um, what Shia was playing, like what this, you know, what affectation do you need to put on to, to and, you know, he was kind of playing more of an um, autistic person. Right. Yeah. And, yes. um, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, sometimes if you're, um, you're developmentally delayed or whatever the issue yeah. is, it's not... Uh -huh. You don't act a certain way. There isn't, you know, but there's a tendency to latch on to something to try to, to portray it. And we were sitting there and it just wasn't quite working the first couple of days of shooting. And at some per per point, I was just uh, trying to figure out, I go, why don't you just play this like you're a wide eyed child, like everything is new and exciting. And, yeah. and he was trying yeah. different things. And I was sitting on the monitor watching him and he was watching me out of the corner of my eye, his eye. And I was like, I saw something and I was like, oh. <laughs> and he goes, and I, I go, that's it. <laughs> You know, I, I think it was he, like he played that character really well. Yeah, he oh, yeah, went in and sure. discovered something, and um, where you didn't really need to put on a, a bunch of physical affectations, it was something that was coming from inside of him. Which, yeah, I mean, he was a super mm -hmm. talented guy. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. it's a matter, Julius. Why don't you ask the next question? Who's the puppet? Yeah. That's yeah, Julius. That's who that's uh, oh, Julius. Julius. Oh, I got it. <laughs> yes, I got it. All right. Hi, Julius. Hi. All right. My turn. Out. There. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we, 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 yeah, we, we kind of touched up on the zombie series earlier. Uh, are there any fun memories you have from working on zombies? Or stories. Or stories. Yeah, like any specific. Uh, any. Yeah. Well, I have a lot of fun stories. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Um, we got time. You know, this, the, the, uh, oh gosh, I don't know. It's the last thing I did, there was, you know, in this, there's aliens in this next one, which is coming. Yeah. Out. Yeah. It's oh, very yeah. excited for that. And, and uh, they do this cheer routine where they defy the laws of gravity, which, um, you know, uh, entails putting them in these, special harnesses which yeah. fly them around like crouching tiger hidden dragon and spin them around and everything and so they mm -hmm. all got together and was like paul you need to do this you need to <laughs> so they yeah. put me in the harness and they flew me around like oh um, my gosh yeah wow. may i say it was a little painful <laughs> yeah sounds like it <laughs> yeah just it goes to show you that um acting is not all glamour and <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah and which which of which of the three would you say is your favorite um well two god it's hard to say i mean i think this next one is it's pretty huge it's yeah they're blowing mm -hmm. up and there's a vis vis effects and just from a challenging standpoint it yeah um, it's it it was quite challenging to put together, especially because it happened during COVID. Yeah. 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 So, which is a lot of the posts that I'll post of me and the cast or, you know, me like yeah. this, with the shield in front of, you know, yeah. 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 Doesn't make good selfies. But um, so that was challenging. We could only have 50 yeah. people in front of the camera at a certain time. And yeah. Yeah. Stuff like that. So, yeah. If, if I'm correct, I heard, is this supposed to be like the last movie in the trilogy? 
Yeah, they usually only do three. Of yeah. Anything. yeah. At Camp Rock, they only ended up doing two. Camp Rock did two. Like, High School Musical yeah. did three. High School Musical yeah. did three. Mostly Cheetah Girls, I think, yeah. did three. Yeah, Cheetah Girls yeah, yeah. did three. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Oh. That one in India was a, an experience, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can imagine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Jay Quan, she asked the. Yeah. Um, can you tell us anything about the upcoming um, Zombies Three? Yeah. yeah uh, there, uh, um, what can we expect from the? Yeah. yeah what can they, we? Mm-hmm. Without well, well, too much to wait, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Anything? Yeah, anything you all can't trouble with Disney with? Can you tell us? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm that's the best way. Disney show. Yeah. <laughs> you can be very picky of what, of what you can say sometimes. But so. I know that the a trailer just oh, yeah. came out today, so uh, yeah, it's a lot of the stuff trailer but um, basically you know everybody is getting along and um aliens arrive um yeah. just when you thought there 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 was more <laughs> there couldn't be more creatures <laughs> aliens arrive and um they are looking for um their home planet and mm-hmm. so they're they they think what they need is in seabrook and so it's um they're searching and yeah. Addison is continuing trying to figure out like who she is and where, right. what, where she yeah. belongs. And where have we heard this plot before? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Where have we heard this plot? <laughs> where have we heard this plot before? No, but, yes. For those watching and listening, uh, definitely check out the trailer and I'm sure, uh, I think uh, July 15th is when the yes. third yes, movie yes, drops. Right. July, July, right. Disney Plus. And- uh, Disney Plus from July 15th. Well, yeah. and we'll probably go on Disney uh, Channel, I would assume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time. I think an extended. It might be out by the time this interview goes out. In August, I think. August twelfth, ah. I think it is. So it might Disney be out by the time this interview goes out. So go watch. Yeah, it. it'll yeah. it'll probably be out by the time this goes <laughs> I, out. So. I, I gotta mention this. Uh, it's not, it won't be aired on a Sunday, but Jakey's birthday at the time we're filming this comes up in two days. Hey. Oh, oh, yeah. It'll probably be, but this will probably be long. Yeah, this will be out yeah, in July. It's a, it's a, it's yeah. a after. Yeah, this will probably be out in July. Anyway, but yeah. So mm-hmm. do you still, I know we talked a little bit about this, but do you still keep in touch with any of the past uh, like Disney Channel stars you've directed? Oh, yeah, all the time. I have my little text nice. chain thing, and sometimes I'll, you know, I'll see the Meg will text me all the time and say, hey, oh, yeah. Shia, yeah. not so much. Some of the the um, Spencer I told you I had talked to yeah. recently. Yeah. We're um, to oh, he's amazing. Yeah, um, I, you know, occasionally somebody will pop in or if I see them on Instagram, I'll like message them. Yeah, nice. chat briefly awesome. about what's going on in their lives. And, uh, nice. Mm-hmm. And Meg yeah. Would, yeah, Meg. Would, well, obviously, our podcast isn't like huge yet, but I'd love to talk to Meg. That would be, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. That would be yeah. awesome. Or Milo. Yeah. Well, you, if you reach out to her, you can um, have her text me and I'll give you guys a good recommendation. All right. Yeah. All right. That's nice. nice. Awesome. Yeah. So uh, now here's an interesting question. If any of the past D comes like over the years, like before zombies, if they yeah. had like a sequel or another movie, which one would you want to go back to the most? Oh, interesting. Um, I think I would do camp rock again. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. I just, we had a lot of fun and yeah. Uh, Oh yeah, and no, and they're also talented and diverse. Yeah. I think oh, yeah. it would be, you know. Yeah, that's awesome. And plus, who doesn't like like rowing around on a boat in the wilderness? <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. I think. I think. I think. Yeah, I think one of the Jonas Brothers like made a joke about like doing a like an R-rated Camp Rock three or something. Come like on, that. do it. They did. They did. I think they. I remember because they reached out to me for a second, and I couldn't quite figure out exactly what what happens on an R-rated. I'll be interesting. Oh yeah. my god! Very, very I'll be interesting. Yeah. It definitely yeah. wouldn't be a. Disney I think project. while they were shooting it, there was some R-rated things going on. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I mean, it's like it's like every production yeah. though. Yeah. yeah mm-hmm. Pretty much. So, so we talked about um, the decoms. There was a pilot that you did come mass and high. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, that was um, um, a version of uh, of High School Musical that they yeah. were trying. Yes. To, so I think Madison High was the the um, there you go. Uh, the, yeah the, the temp name at the time, but it all looked like it. If, if yeah, it a copy of it. it, it all had sort of the same, but it was more along the lines of um, 
just its sort of look, it was very, you know, along the lines of the Kenny Ortega style of high school yeah. musical. But yeah. it I mean, was the same way that they were. There was a little bit of a meta in it. It yeah. I had seen this mm. uh, documentary called Every Little Step, which is these people auditioning wow. for um, um, uh, the chorus line again. And yeah. so at the time I said, this is what they should be doing because we had Mrs. Darbus Mm-hmm. as yeah. she was part of that, um, you know, the the reboot of this High School Musical. Yeah. Thing. And it was good. Leah Lewis was in it, and Luke Benward was in it. Yeah. yeah. Amazing guy. And Gene Helius. Um, yep. Who, ho- yeah. who we hope to have on. And I know Luke and uh, yeah. Gene Helius went on to do other things. Like, of course, Gene Helius got Dog with a Blog. Yeah. Hell yeah. And Luke went on to do... Uh, Cloud Nine, which he directed. Luck, good luck, Charlie. Yeah. And, of course, Cloud Nine, which Cloud he Nine. directed. And, and okay. Beanie Felstein was in it. I mean, she's, you know, yeah, um, very in the independent film world. So it, yeah. it was Lester Lewis had written it. So it was it was um, it, it was it put its toe in um, in what the high school musical, um, the musical series did that Tim did, did. Yeah, really. Yeah, you know, nailed it. That's awesome. Oh yes, mm-hmm. and that's another thing. I'm very excited for the third uh, season. Yeah, drop. and, and you directed a couple episodes of that series in the second season. So I did. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Which, was, which you was, also well, directed- I started doing it, and then COVID hit, and then it stopped, yeah. and then and came back. Six months later, I came back and started yeah. again. Oh, yeah. And then did two more. So, yeah. 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 I, that one. Uh, uh, go. go ahead. You also directed well, several Nickelodeon shows, also, anything, and we were really yeah. struggling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You also directed several Nickelodeon shows, also, which is amazing. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Yes. that's uh, a classified. Yeah, that's Cousin, a classified. Yes, Cousin Skeeter. That's a classified. Uh, Just Jordan, classified. which is a show that I forgot even existed until like very recently. I haven't seen that yeah. in a yeah. long time. We need yeah, a revival. Uh, the Speaker World of Alex Mack was the one where I really. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And I feel that like one the, of the first hits. Yeah. I feel like the cast would return for a revival of Ned's Classified. We need one. I think they tr- uh, yeah. I think I think there Didn't was going try? I think there was going to be one. Yeah. I think I, I think there was going to be one focused around like their high school years, but it never got I think you're uh, thinking of the it. spinoff. Yes. That's what it was. There was a yeah, spin-off. Spin-off. spinoff. Yeah, there was gonna be a spinoff, but I don't think it got greenlit. I don't I don't think Nickelodeon ever picked it up. What, 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 yeah. Dana Curtis Lee might know about that. Because I think uh I think Daniel Curtis Lee went on to do Zeke and Luther, and I think Lindsay Shaw. Or yeah, Daniel Lindsay Lee. Shaw went on to do some show on ABC Family. Zeke and think. Luther, which you also directed a couple episodes of, yeah. uh, yeah. I believe. So of Zeke and Luther, Luther. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so many uh, things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, Matt uh, Dearborn and Tom um, are fantastic writers, and yeah, they. Yeah, you know, I don't they're know right. what they're doing now, but when I would always be excited to get a script from them because it was really quirky and funny and they really knew how to do that sort of single camera um comedy really 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 well so, yeah yeah man, cousin, yeah. cousin skeeter was also another fantastic show yes. as well. <laughs> yes. Which, oh, Definitely. i was going to say you might know about this but i heard something that the puppet was destroyed on an episode of figure it out where it got slimed because the puppet uh, i think um uh, i heard something about that News I wouldn't believe that. News I worked on a show where I don't know if it was Cousin Skeeter, where yeah. one of the cast like stole the puppet. Cousin Skeeter and, probably and, and oh, brought and brought it home with them because they loved it so much and they thought oh, they saw it. Where do you get the puppet? Oh boy! Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no, but I, I, out, I, like, I, what I, happened I, to I, the I, puppet? Yeah. Hey, he he would too. Oh shut up! <laughs> <laughs> and so they fall. So Matt, watch out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm I taking over the game. Get out, human. Come yeah. on. Hey, Matt, hey, so, Matt, 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 Matt. Julius just pushed you aside, but you, uh, but you asked the next question. Oh, I was going to ask it, but all right, Matthew, you, 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 you can ask it. Go ahead. Yes. Well, what would yeah. you say the most difficult part of directing and producing movies or TV shows? Well, it's that every single day there's another problem and a, a problem to solve. Like there's absolutely yes. never a single day. That's why when it's going, uh, for me, it's fun and prep because it's all, oh, this is going to be great. Yeah. And then mm-hmm. it, it, you walk on the set and 
there's no lights that have to be showed up. Somebody's sick. There's COVID. There's we're running behind. We don't have enough time. How are you going to do it? So it's it's a it's quite. Um, you know, you have a certain amount of money that you have to deal with. They put you in a certain location because it's like they want to shoot in India where you get sick. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. You know, there's, there's, and you can't speak the language sometimes. So it's, yeah. If yeah. you want to yeah. be a director, you have to be a, a huge problem solver because yeah. mm-hmm. that's all right. Basically, it is. It's, okay, this problem, what are we going to do? Mm-hmm. I saw during zombie during production of Zombies Three, I believe it, it, there was a big rainstorm. Yep. Yeah, it was oh, like wow. not just it was like a mm-hmm. hurricane. Came yeah, by and we were all under Goodness. tents and uh, wow, and <laughs> with the tents, we're like lifting up off the ground. Pieces of the set were flying away, and oh, it, it, yeah. that must have been a great, that must have been a great day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Crazy. And the camera, the you know, all the equipment is out, so because it's a nice sunny day, and suddenly the squall shows up. So Tico, our DP, was out in the middle of the storm trying to hold this tarp around the camera because you know they don't <laughs> like yeah. having water dumped on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine. Yeah. So Jay Cohen, you ask the next. Uh, yeah. Um, do you have any advice for anyone who wants who wants to become a director or producer? Um, I think that you, if you're passionate about it and you really want to do it, I think you just oh, yeah. have to get in yeah. in any possible job mm-hmm. that you can get in on the set and, um, and do that job with the most enthusiasm and you will move up quickly and people love to reward, you know, mm-hmm. um, people who are enthusiastic and, um, suffer gladly because you know when i started out it it was um you know at first i was like oh, i went to college and why am i spending the night waiting for the script to be printed and you know and like this is yeah. crazy and then i re- you know realized and saw that if i really wanted to succeed i just had to be the guy when they said, who wants to spend the night on the stage until the trucks come in for load in and i'd be like i'll do it you know, yeah. and, and, <laughs> yeah. and, and th- those, you know, the people that I worked for, they were the ones who, who were like, we got to get this guy, Paul again. And, yeah. and then they want to do you favors too. Like they, they want to be able to, so, you know, that um, I worked hard for this guy, you know, Brad Lockman, who gave oh, me yeah. a shot at, you know, getting into um, the DGA and same thing with, Tommy Lynch, who did a whole bunch of those um, Disney and Nickelodeon shows that I ended up doing with him. So I, and I'm thankful to all those people. There you go. Mm-hmm. That's but, awesome. But I think that you, you can with, with a good attitude and, um, and, you know, a director directs and a producer produces. So just yeah. don't go picky at the beginning on the things that you want to do. You know, um, yeah. just if somebody's giving you an opportunity, go for it and do it the best you can do. Yeah. Exactly. Matt, how about you ask the next question? Yeah. It's human's human. turn. Yeah. yeah. Human's <laughs> turn. <laughs> um, other, other than Zombies 3, shameless plug, shameless plug, can you share anything you're working on right now? Um, well, right now I'm just trying to get something going. I think I'm in, the, in, in a place where I'm um, just, I just want to do something interesting and you know, I don't want to just do the next episode of, I mean, I love high school musical and stuff like that, but I think I'm just kind of looking to find something that new, new, yeah, yeah, something yeah. New. new, right. Yeah. It's not just the old, uh, descendants 15, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. this is amazing. Though. And I, yeah. I think it's a good oh, yeah. time. Like, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm good and, you know, it was, so I'm not like, there's food on the table. Oh, I'm just hoping that I find, you know, something that, that, cause I, I've been lucky in my life that there's been, you know, I think it was the change at the channel and we really built that to be something. And now Disney plus is new. So maybe there's, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I think they're looking for what the new thing is and what, mm-hmm. yeah. 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 Where this whole, you know, decom thing 
goes to and yeah so that's yeah. It's an yeah. exciting time so and I'm, I'm i'm good that's what i'm i'm hoping for yeah. so you, yeah, you when i find it you guys will be the first to know yeah. well, we'll be happy right. yeah. disney, disney plus is great because a lot of the old stuff it, um a lot of it's not even being like rerun on disney channel so much anymore yeah. so disney plus yeah. is a great way yeah. to kind of binge revisit watch. all of binge that watch. yeah for, yeah. for example, even Stevens, which you directed a couple episodes of, I was able to binge watch that. Yeah, because awesome. of Disney Plus. Yeah. Oh, was that on? Um, is that here? Hold on a second. Let me just. Is that on the? Um, I didn't know that was on. I have to. Amazing streaming that. service too. Yeah. yeah. Yes. 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 One, one of the best. Yeah, because <laughs> we spoke to uh, we spoke to three people from even Stevens. Yeah. We spoke to <laughs> Steve, <laughs> Stephen Anthony Lawrence. Amazing, Gary Gray oh, yeah. and uh, Jim, Jim Wise. Wise. Yeah. Oh, Jim, yeah, like the Jim friend Wise. who we went to high school together. Oh, oh wow! Really? Oh, wow. Next time we're talking. Wow. That's amazing. Hey, hey, that's, hey, amazing. Hey, that's that's interesting. Wow. You tell us that? Like, I have a question for him about that Jim now. <laughs> Jim Wise. What's that? Oh, I did. He said he he said he has a question for Jim about that now. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what was Paul like in high school? Yes. Yes. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Let's, let's yeah. reflect some I, stuff on yeah, that. I can ask. Yeah, I can answer. If he goes there everything. with me, I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go there with him. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what was he like oh, in high school? Let's ask that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. He was uh, a good guy. He was a um, big singer. He had a great yeah. voice. He, oh, yeah. he still does. I don't know what yeah. happened to it. Super well. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, but Jim's voice. awesome. Jim, if you're watching this, yes, you are. You are based. Jim Wise, come back. Awesome. We have questions. Amazing, yeah. Jim. And I always yeah, but... play uh, music together, and we're in our Wordle share together. So there you yeah. go. Oh, wow. Music hey, hey, here's the thing. Yeah. You know, wow. Jim, if you're up for it, we have you come back in the future, have the two of you on together. Uh, yeah. Oh, you man. Can, wow. can definitely <laughs> do that. <laughs> Uh, I don't know that I will match Jim's wit, but I will try. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't have to match him. Just have to be there. Yeah. Uh, so, so, what would you have to say to your fans and supporters of all your projects? Um, I guess, I mean, thank you. Thanks for watching, and thanks for. Um, and I, I, I hope that because you are a fan, that I've, I've come through with for you guys yeah you have. oh for sure yeah. for sure oh yeah that's the yeah. most important thing that i'm also um that i do i mean a lot of people oh they say oh it's just a kid's show and and, and if i ever hear it's just that, a kid's I, movie I, yeah. I, I lose yeah. my mind ah. because, um, yeah. we work really hard and and um to to make it good and, and yeah. we're under a lot of pressure to, we don't have as much money as everybody else has we don't get as many rewrites as everybody else does so we're always on a strict schedule so we try to yeah you know yeah we mm -hmm. we, we uh spill blood for every yeah. movie oh yeah <laughs> I, I definitely agree that it's not about the whole it's not just a kids show thing because i mean for example look at andy mack i mean yeah. that, that opened up a lot of new things for disney channel that they have not done before with like shows Luca, i believe was uh, yeah i mean the first the first episode especially i mean yeah you know Andy finds out and I, that I also, her sister is her mother. So it's, it's, yeah, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's about, um, I think everything that I do, there's not just, it's not, you don't just come to watch one of these Disney channel movies. Um, I mean, you have fun and hopefully you laugh, but hopefully you, you come away with a, a sense of that you're awesome at, or your family is awesome or whatever your situation in life, however, um, people, cause I was kind of a, you know, nerdy guy and I was unconventional. Um, and I think universally kids feel that, um, as you're kind of going through that teenage that, Hey, what do I have to offer? You know, am, yeah. am I as normal and am I like, um, and I think all of those movies are always an allegory for just teaching kids how to, to, um, be successful and and be proud of themselves you know yeah. mm -hmm. and i'm not sure yeah. that everybody knew that's what was happening at the time when we were making all of those but that's what i thought <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so yeah. So, anyway. so if so if people would like to contact you where can people find you uh they can find me on instagram and they and i always go through and um look you. at those 
those. Yes, me too. Yes. And if they need to send me something, then I, yeah. I, I, I get it. Yep, and your social media will be in the description down below so people yes. can follow Matthew, how about you ask this? I, is, I right. feel like you've only asked this question once. All right. Well, yeah. What? When you think of nostalgia, what what do you think of? Like, what is nostalgia to you? Um, the seventies. There you go. <laughs> that's sort of when I grew up, and I think the Partridge Family seems like that's I I uh, like for as far as that son of kids show. Yeah, I, I know I that was part of like every Partridge. day at uh, every Friday. I think at seven p.m. and I got my little cassette recorder and yeah. I, I watched that show and I laughed and I loved the music and I I um I thought if I could be like David Cassidy, Imagine. that would be my life. Of course I never I wasn't, but you know, I mean I think that to me that the 70s and and when when I went to high school is I loved the music and I, I thought the TV shows and all that kind of stuff were 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 great. That so to me, that's my um I'll tell you my Disney it. channel. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, thank you so much for coming oh, yeah. on. Thank, thank you, you so much for coming on. And thank you for uh, having me. I totally well, appreciate we're it. Definitely, oh, we're, definitely, oh, okay. we're definitely excited to have you mm-hmm. back on the future. Jakey, what do you got? And I'll look for you guys to be um, famous someday and hire me. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> we <will>. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> when you guys write your big feature. Mm-hmm. Matt, 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 yes. Matt, I feel like you'd be the yep. most successful because aren't you working on an album right now? Um, yeah, hoping to get that up. Matt is an up and coming puppeteer. (laughs) Yes, he's he's been doing that two years, just over two years. You get in touch with me when you, uh, I will want to do your show. Oh, yeah, yeah, (laughs) he has a Marty Monster (laughs) show. There you go, you can write for Marty Monster. We're hoping to do some stuff down the line, yeah, yeah, we'll definitely be in touch. Yeah. I'm an ally of you guys. So, yes. oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Well, anyway, we've definitely, everybody, we've enjoyed our time with Paul Ho. And thank you so much, Paul, for being on. It has been an absolute blast. Yeah. And yeah. I yeah. think you would say we hope yeah. to have you back on in the future. We can't wait. Check, right. check out, check yes. out Zombies 3 dropping on Disney Plus July 15th. Yes. 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 By the time this goes out. Yes. 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 Thank you so much, Paul. And thanks to all our viewers, you are worth mm-hmm. it. listeners, for tuning in to another episode. Remember, you're worth it and stay in a shower. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye, everybody. See you next time on another episode of Jake's Happy Nostalgia Show, where nostalgia comes alive. Be sure to follow us on social media and stream us wherever you find your favorite podcasts. And as always, remember that you are worth it and to always stay nostalgic. Bye-bye.